associate editor of the Philippine Star. I'm very happy in the place I'm in now as a Chinoy, as a Pinoy. Um, and I am, I've lived long enough that if anybody challenges what I am or um, tries to belittle what I am, I know enough to fight back and I know I will win because whatever prejudices they may have, I know I can counter. Um, whatever they, they decide to, to say about my being a Chinese, my being, you know, Chinoy, neither here nor there, uh, everything, all of that, I, I stand on solid ground and I, I can answer any one of them. Be sure and catch Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart, presented by Chinoy TV. Hi, I'm Janina Chan. I'm a TV host. I'm a podcaster, a columnist, and a content creator. Okay, so for our family, it's kind of like a mix of both traditional and modern. But in terms of upbringing, in terms of how we were raised, me and my sister, by our parents, I think um, it is similar to most families here in the Philippines. You know, we're both um, very family-oriented. Um, I am a part of a very supportive family, so I'm also grateful that, especially my mom, she's always been supportive ever since I was um, a baby girl. <laughs> Literally started young. And I'm so grateful for um, my family's encouragement and support um, in what I do. Being part of the One Chinoy campaign is definitely such an honor and also a responsibility. <laughs> I am so happy to be here to be able to reflect as well on my identity and I feel more realigned to myself by doing so too. It's definitely been fun and I love knowing more about where I belong. I'm grateful for where I'm going onwards together as One Chinoy community. I'm inviting all of you to watch Chinoy TV Presents Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart. Hello, I am Nicole Cordovez and I was Miss Chinatown 2014 and Binibining Pilipinas Grand International 2016. I think the biggest misconception is that we are, like, we keep to ourselves. Uh, we don't really, we're not so emotional. Because growing up in a Chinese family, we don't really say, like, we don't state our feelings. We don't show our emotions. We're not touchy at all. <laughs> and our parents don't even give us encouragement. Not that it's not entirely a bad thing, but more of they want us to stay humble. I'm really honored to be part of One Chinoy because I feel like we need to tell our story more. We need to open up a conversation more. And I know that and dami nating Chinoy community members na nagahanap ng kausap, nagahanap ng mahuhugutan ng advice. So we need to be more present. We need to be more visible. And I'm inviting you guys to watch Chinoy TV Presents Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart. I'm Patricia Ngo, and I'm a children's book writer here in the Philippines. Growing up, I didn't see a lot of representation of Chinois, and I think that's why I wasn't really that sure about what it meant to be Chinois. And 
Eventually, when I reached college, I learned about how culture isn't a pure and static thing. Cultures keep changing just as people do, and the Chinoy culture is just one way in which cultures kept changing. And I learned that there wasn't just one way of being Filipino. There were many ways to do so, and being Chinoy was a valid way of being Filipino. I think that this campaign is really important in helping bridge the gap between whatever miscommunications we might have with other cultures and other people. Uh, there are times when people misunderstand what it means to be Chinoy. They don't understand sometimes that the Philippines is still our home and that we are still Filipinos even with our different experiences. And I appreciate that this campaign helps bridge that gap and to clarify those misconceptions that people have. I'm inviting you to watch Chinoy TV Presents, Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart. Hi, I'm Rob Jam. I'm an illustrator, comic book creator, um, art director, and friend. Well, I just wanted to make comics as a kid. I didn't know it could be a career. Um, I think even if you are from a Filipino family, if, they, if you tell them you want to be an artist, they're kind of afraid of it. Um, because, yeah, there is such a misconception of how you can make money in art. I know that the Filipino Chinese community or the Chinese community, it's so focused on what's sure to be a successful career path or a successful business or a successful whatever, and then art is such a thing outside of that. I feel very honored to be part of this because, um, yeah, I knew I was always a part of this community, but I've never really felt like recognition from it or that anyone in the Chinese Filipino community or Filipino Chinese community cared because, yeah, like, there's that whole expectation that they don't know much about art or they see art as just a well, waste of time, that kind of thing. And I'm inviting you to watch Chinoy TV Presents Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart. My name is Stan C. I'm a radio DJ, a podcaster, a voice talent, an events host, and a writer. All things that you're not expected to be when you're Chinoy. I grew up in a traditional, stereotypical Chinese-Filipino household. So my dad is uh, pure Chinese born in the Philippines. And my mom is, uh, is literal na mestiza because my maternal grandmother uh, was Bisaya. She, uh, she came from Leyte. And the maternal grandfather, who I never met, was an immigrant from China. So I really got it all in the sense that I'm really Chinese-Filipino. And I, I can't just be one without the other. I feel privileged to be part of the One Chinoy campaign because I want to be the voice that starts these uncomfortable conversations. And it's high time that they happen because we have to look at who we are to understand where we come from. And that's a conversation that's long overdue. It's time to shock the system. And I'm inviting you to watch Chinoy TV Presents Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart. Hi, my name is Tim Yap. I'm a host and eventologist. I'm proud to be Chinoy because I know I come from a bloodline of hard work. Uh, I come from a, a place where tough love was the norm, where we always had to work hard to get to where we are. Uh, it was always one step at a time. Nothing was given to us on a silver platter. Thank you. 
I love being part of this One Chinoy campaign because uh, it reminds us that we are one, right? That we are in a world that's becoming so tribal and, uh, you know, into each other's, only into each other's. Uh, we need uh, reminders that, hey, we are all one and the same. And I'm inviting you to watch Chinoy TV Presents, Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart. Uh, I'm Wilson Lee Flores. I'm in the real estate business. Also, my hobby is writing a column in Philippine Star. I also own a bakery in Quezon City. I have Chinese and I have Filipino culture. That's 100% Filipino, 100% Chinese. So I'm 200% of, of a person. I'm 200% richer as a person. It's not like... Um, yeah, there's no need to balance. I have to continuously learn to be both. Every single culture that enriches us is important. We should always analyze ourselves in order to be better human beings. And our uh, ethnic Chinese minority in the Philippines, uh, non-stop changes. We are experiencing non-stop changes every generation. We should be better. We should always strive to be better. Uh, by uh, cherishing our heritage and our values, learning from our ancestors in order to be a benefit to the Philippines. I'm inviting you to watch Chinoy TV Presents, Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. The modern Chinoy. Where are you from? I said, I'm from the Philippines. But how come you speak Chinese? So there's always that mm, ambiguity. Are you really Filipino or are you Chinese? I've been asking questions all my life like, am I Filipino enough or am I Chinese enough? And then my uncle looks at me, you do TV? Hello, you're too sinkit. So, meaning ba pag singkit, hindi ka pwede mag-TV? At that time, it was at the height of the island dispute and uh, the Chinois have been at the middle of the crossfire between the Chinese and the Filipinos. So because of that, we decided to address this because um, at that time, a lot of people are confused in terms of the loyalty of the Chinois here. Where does your nationalism or your patriotism lie? Does it lie with where your ancestors come from? Or does it lie with where you were born and raised? So our manligals always ask, Nami, grateful ba yung pamilya niyo? <laughs> Funnily enough, I have never really dated a lot of Chinese girls. They scare me. <laughs> <laughs> I really would like to grow up like a normal child. I really would like to go to the mall, watch a movie. But had it not been for this training of my parents, I would not be where I am today. We should not lose out our Asian heritage. Yun ang fear ko, yun ang worry ko is uh, it's easy to lose out our Asianness by all these overwhelming Western cultural influences. I want to be the voice that starts these uncomfortable conversations and it's high time that they happen because we have to look at who we are to understand where we come from. No matter how it is run, this is our country. It is our lupang hinirang. We are just in one country, we are in one boat. Do not say why me, just say why not me.
Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag One Chinoy is brought to you by Doña Maria Premium Quality Rice, our Filipino farmers' hard work and dedication in every grain. BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia Pacific. The Great Wall of China. So our manligals always ask, "Na may Great Wall ba yung pamilya niyo?" <laughs> I'm lucky na in my family, wala namang Great Wall. But growing up, also I thought, "Ano ba to? Ang racist naman ng family ko." But it's more of, "Ano pala? Like they just want you to marry into the same culture as them. Something that they would also understand. The same way that other cultures would also prefer their kids to." Find a partner who has the same belief systems and culture as them. Chinese Filipino children are conditioned na ang papa kasalamo dapat lang nang den, dapat Chinese den, Chinese Filipino. Or you're gonna marry a non-Chinese, you screwed up. You know, uh, ang laking problema niyan. I don't know if this applies still to the younger generation. But during our time, it was really a rule for us to find fellow Chinois. It was really hard for us back then to find fellow Chinois partners because the usual people that were referred to us were the people that we really don't like. I feel like in terms of love, Filipino-Chinese families make really informed decisions. We are very rational with it. We have standards that are there that might like, hit differently with other people but in reality it's actually like really fundamental and practical questions now i feel pagka kundari you decide lang based on emotions we might make more mistakes Relationships also reflect a different set of values that my generation now has. I'm sure many people, when they hear about Chinois, they often hear about the term Great Wall, where parents ask their children that they marry or be with somebody who is also of Chinois descent. Although I don't have any uh, personal experiences related to that, I do have some friends who talk about that problem. I did meet somebody who agreed with their parents about the Great Wall because she too wanted somebody who came from the same same culture and understood the way she lived. But I also have a friend who mentioned that she thinks that the Great Wall is antiquated because we live in the Philippines. I think it's time for us to also be with people who live in the Philippines and that we shouldn't keep holding on to the past. I think that my generation is able to assess whether it is something that is in line with what they want or what they don't want. I talk a lot about how much I hate the Great Wall and yet my own long-term girlfriend is also Chinese Filipino, which I find to be hilarious. And it's something we laugh about all the time. And you don't have to choose, right? If you're your mom, and you know, like, love is such a complicated thing that I can't get, even get into. Like, I'm no love expert. But like, when these things happen, to tell someone to break up with someone else on the basis of race, what's that, right? It was explained to me na mas madali kasi, mas madali kasi hindi mo na kailangang i-explain yung mga cultures, hindi mo na kailangang turuan. And from my experience having dated someone who's not Chinese and then with my own long-term girlfriend, may punto, mas madali. If you're in a spot where you know you have to introduce your significant other to your family and then it, it becomes complicated because of the race thing, like I think it's really messed up. And there's even gender dynamics involved because it's more acceptable if you're a Chinese Filipino male getting together with a non-Chinese female than the other way around. The way it was explained to me was because yung babae kasi, she's gonna lose her Chinese surname. She'll be married off into that other family. So she'll be like a Santos or a 
Gomez. Very problematic on so many different levels, on the basis of race, on the basis of sex. Bravery talaga yung pag na-conquer mo yung Great Wall because it's you literally taking a stand against something systemic that's been upheld for generations and generations. The vetting process for your partner to go into your Chinese family is very intricate. So they need to know about your family background, which is usually, there's this joke that na, the na, first question of your parents mo is, Inzo es siya dia? Meaning na anong business ang pamilya nila? And that's like a standard that they should meet para they know that they could provide for you. At first, we might be irritated na para our parents asking that, like, Mom, seriously? You're gonna ask that question this early first date pa lang, di ba? Pero, they just want to make sure that you know what you're getting yourself into and that you're secure. Like, you don't have to worry about money, about what you're gonna eat the next day, um, how you're gonna send your kids to a good school. So these are a lot of questions that I feel usually are asked like kung prenup na <laughs> like before the marriage. But it's really good. Kids don't hate your parents. It's really good to ask those questions as early as now. <laughs> Technically, with regards to very rich families, they want the same level of financial stability. They also want their children to be physically compatible, financially compatible, and spiritually compatible. Growing up in a Chinese Filipino community, money matters will be talked about in terms of relationships. Kapag kunwari, you're an affluent Chinese Filipino, tapos yung napangasawa mo eh hindi Chinese, magkaka problem with the money. I don't recall where I heard this, but one of the justifications, so to speak, for the Great Wall is that you want to keep the wealth in the Chinese family. Which, when you think about it, is really low key racist. But the racism is something that we aren't conscious about agad because it's inherent and it's systemic. Nakabaon na siya dun sa pagpapalaki sa amin. And you're conditioned to believe that it's correct or that it's true because it's just the way it is. And to question that will be bole. So. I remember nung I had to train my boyfriend to be Chinese <laughs> kasi um, sa restaurant, di ba kabilog yun yung mga ulam sa Chinese restaurants. Tapos kailangan kasi bigyan mo ng food yung mas nakakatanda sa iyo basta never ikaw yung una the ones beside you yung una mong bibigyan ng food before you get for yourself eh since my boyfriend is ilonggo para mahilig kumain so <laughs> sa kanya una talaga sa plate niya talaga yung una so i had to train him na you know what it's a sign of respect na kailangan bigyan mo muna yung people around you before you get some for yourself and napansin din siya ng family ko kaagad so it took a lot of dates paano kung kunwari birthday ni ama and then yung girlfriend mong hindi chinese nag black just because she looks great in black laking problema niyan which is true kasi the more traditional chinese they value things like yung respect for the culture and colors are a way of non-verbally communicating things, diba? We wear festive colors like red or yellow even sa mga birthday celebrations. But when you bring in yung element ng black or white, yun yung mga kulay ng pagluluksa. It may be a small thing, but I realize now that I'm 29 years old na it's so important pala, like those gestures, now that there are a lot of people who are younger than me also <laughs> in our family, parang, teka, parang ba't di mo ito ginagawa? Like, iba pala yung feeling when you're on the receiving end. We might not see the significance of it when we were kids, but believe me, it's really important to preserve those traditions. Your parents want the best for you. When you choose to find a partner that is not fellow Chinoy, be responsible about it. Don't blame your parents, don't blame anybody. Because love is universal. It's not about race or culture. It's about compatibility, of both individuals. If you are experiencing the Great Wall, make a choice, make a decision. What choice do you want to make? You want to follow your parents or you want to follow yourself? Ano yung mas matimbang? So my boyfriend, who's an Ilonggo, I'm gonna be with him for six years already this year. And 
And let me tell you, he had to work for it. Like, pero na appreciate ko ngayon that I am older and I actually am considering him to be my lifetime partner. Na appreciate ko yung strictness ng family ko that they made him work for it because girls they would know your value more. Kasi pinaghirapan kanya. <laughs> and he had to learn the traditions and rituals also in our family and also the language we speak because both my grandfathers baling bali sobra yung Tagalog and English nila. So there was a time I had to translate for him pa. But now he actually understands them. We had this family gathering and then he got to talk to my mother's dad, so my guacong, my mother's side. And then they were talking about martial arts. Lang. And then I remember kasi one time na this same guacong of mine didn't like my partner before. <laughs> and linapita niya ako. And given nga na our family is not emotional, we don't meddle in each other's businesses so much either. Medyo shocking yun for me. Kasi parang, sure ka ba to sa decision mo? Gusto mo tong lalaking to? Kasi he doesn't fit in our family. And it wasn't even in a discriminating way. But looking back now, parang, wow, he had that foresight that this guy was not a good guy. So now that nakikita ko na he was interacting with my boyfriend, who also put in the effort to talk to my guacong who had barok Tagalog, <laughs> It actually really softened me up. Sabi ko, you know what? I love you more now. Kasi he put in that effort. There are a lot of partners who marry into families who disregard the family members. And I grew up realizing na I can't be with someone like that. Na par ano, dyan lang parang hangin lang yung pamilya mo. And now seeing that your partner puts in effort to mesh with your family from a different culture pa, Maiyak kayo guys. <laughs> so yeah, it's like a it's a beautiful thing. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag One Chinoy is brought to you by Cardinal Santos Medical Center. Progressive Laboratories. SM Supermalls. Waters Philippines. Evergreen Cereal AgriPro Premier Nutrition Incorporated Global Diesel and GU Engineering H&E Manufacturing Corporation Veco Paper Corporation Nation Paper Products and Printing Corporation Ford Tractor Philippines Your Long-Term Agriculture Partner Japan Parts Trading Center Pinturado, Seliado, Protectado, Sigurado, AquaGuard Elastomeric Waterproofing Paint, Chua Bang Peng, Alejandro Ko, Jimmy C, Nung Family, Enrique Chua, Chan Kwan, Wu Chongchen, Li Pue Chin, George Cham, William Goshako. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Maybe for those who have heard of the Great Wall, it may sound controversial. Actually, I don't think it's as controversial as it should be, but there are just certain cases that have been an extreme version of it. But it always goes back down to the intention of the families. Parents are always going to be extra protective of their children. So let's not take that into a negative light. And in terms of my generation, I can only speak for my truth and the stories I hear. It really is up to the person at the end of the day. And in case there are certain walls that have to be climbed. I think that goes for most cultures too. We're told not to question things and the modern Chinoy has to be somebody who's willing to ask these questions, willing to ask why or how, somebody who is willing to see that there is a world outside of what's in front of them. Before, there were societal pressures attached to finding your partner. It had to be approved by your 
parents. You know, it had to be approved by society. So now I think it's already crossed the boundaries because before it was just other-centered. Now it's you-centered. So it's, it's who you love and then, you know, they have to live with that. The Chinoy value that I can attach to that is basically love. You know, because at the end, love conquers all. Ito talaga yung fantasy ko. You know, but if the guy does decide na even though, babe, you have this great wall, I'm gonna conquer it with you, I'm gonna prove to your family that I am gonna take care of you, that I can provide for you, that I will fight for you, I will stand by your side, that guy is worth it. Typically, in the Filipino Chinese family, they hire a matchmaker for Kai Shao. So, when they do the Kai Shao, uh, the matchmaker goes to family and brings a suitable partner for the family's son or daughter. I decided to create kaishao.com for Chinois so that they will be able to date responsibly and be able to empower themselves to choose the right partner. So they like online dating better because they get to have a lot of choices. When you are in the online dating scene, you have to be vigilant. Hi, I'm Glenda Kura. I'm the founder of Kaishao.com. The process in Kaishao.com is just simple. It's, it's like Facebook. You just join, you sign up, you put your profile. The difference is just that we have a Sojak sign profile. Then there's also the horoscope, the Chinese horoscope, which is important in the Filipino Chinese culture. There's a term in the Filipino Chinese culture if you are Chong. Chong means you are not compatible because of year, or because of surname. What's the difference of our site with the other online dating sites is that we want to educate people to find the right partner. The goal of kaishao.com is to help Chinois find fellow Chinois to find love online. The traditional kaishao is the parents choose for their kids, right? But in kaishao.com, you get to choose the person that you want and you get to show the picture to your parents and then you tell your parents, is this okay? Is this guy okay for me? Is this girl okay for me? And you have a lot of options, not just one. Actually, yung first meet, uh, he wants uh, like a whole day date. <laughs> whole day? Whole day kaya. Whole day. Sabi ko, bakit whole day? Sabi ko, first meet up to make it a bit more formal. <laughs> From the six meet ups and then one successful marriage. <laughs> My name is Mark Vince. And I'm Annalyn. I never really thought of getting married and I remembered my mom saying to me, ah yeah, magpakasal ka na. <laughs> and I was surprised that my mom would say that. And then I come stumbled across this uh, advertisement from Kai Xiao. Actually, one of the advantages uh, using the dating site like kaishao.com, you're more liberated. There's no parents forcing you to uh, oh, you have to get this guy. Kaishao.com is my one and only dating site that I tried and that's how I found my better half. <laughs> one of the important things uh, during trying to meet up with other people through the dating site is you have to be open, you have to be honest, you have to be you. You need to put yourself out there, you have to keep looking, you will meet lots of people. Never give up in looking for someone because there's always someone out there for you. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag One Chinoy is brought to you by Cardinal Santos Medical Center. Canis Prime Adult Dog Food. 
Feed them with love. Waters Philippines Anchorland PG Flex Linoleum and Maruyama Tarpaulin Evergreen Cereal AgriPro Premier Nutrition Incorporated Global Diesel and GU Engineering H&E Manufacturing Corporation Vecco Paper Corporation Nation Paper Products and Printing Corporation Ford Tractor Philippines Your Long-Term Agriculture Partner Pinturado Seliado Protectado Sigurado AquaGuard Elastomeric Waterproofing Paint Chua Beng Peng Alejandro Ko Jimmy C Nung Family George Chum William Goshako Are you the next Mr. and Miss Chinatown? Deadline for application is on October 15, 2021. My family is definitely more on the modern Filipino-Chinese side. Um, my siblings and I actually all started in um, Chinese schools as kids. But after a while, we moved to Filipino schools, um, really immersed ourselves in Filipino values and Filipino culture, and then studied abroad for university. My parents are both entrepreneurs. So growing up, that was what I was surrounded with. So I actually thought that was the norm and that was what I was inspired to also be my end goal. My love for indoor cycling started when I moved to New York and I quickly fell in love with the fitness culture there, especially indoor cycling. But I knew that I wanted to create something that was unique. So the morning after the announcement of the lockdown happened, we actually immediately launched our very, very first online class the next day. Uh, little did we know that that was going to be the start of our digital offering. We've had to, one, become hardware providers, and that means renting or selling our bikes and other fitness equipment. We've also had to be, you know, a software <laughs> company. We've had to upgrade our digital platform. And third is we've become content creators. So all of that, we've had to do that all in one, and that really relies on digital. Um, you know, we have had to create a virtual shop that integrates with our legacy platform. We also had to start shooting all of this content. That's why, you know, it is more important than ever that we had global business there because we needed to have reliable internet. I definitely miss how things were pre-pandemic, but we just have to adapt and constantly navigate you know, all these uncharted waters. Hi, I'm Christina C., founder and CEO of Electric Studio. Through the changing times, tuloy tayo, SME. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. When I proposed uh, to my now uh, husband, I called her uh, the, the night uh, before I was about to fly out. And I told her, Ma, 
before you find out from the whole world, I want to let you know that I proposed. Ah, I said, I proposed to Javi. And he goes, she goes, oh, who's Javi? I go, Ma, he's the guy that I would uh, have lunch and dinner with at home. She goes, oh, but he's a guy. I go, oh, okay, so okay, mahabang kwentuhan to. I go, Ma, <laughs> I said, Mom, Okay, ma, I'm boarding. Bye. She got shocked because uh, she saw it on CNN. It was in, in the news at the time. So uh, even when we got married, I told her that, hey, you'll be there and you'll walk us down the aisle. And she goes, ah, wait, is, it, is this too much? Is this too much for me? But then she told me that whatever makes you happy is what I will want for you. and you want the people that you love to be their happiest selves, right? So part of that is accepting them for who they are, warts and all. Accepting them for mistakes, uh, accepting them for imperfections. That's part of it. When you embrace, you embrace the wholeness of the person. For young Chinois, don't give your destiny to your parents or to the matchmakers. Find the person that you think you are compatible with. You have to choose your mate responsibly because marriage is a commitment and it's a choice. And you would know if you are ready for a relationship when you are ready to sacrifice and to give way to the other person. When you're in a relationship, it's a give and take. It's not always you, 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 you. You have to learn to adjust. Because she knows you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> but you aren't any less lucky either if you don't end up with a Chinoy, as long as that person is a good person and they love you more than anything in this world, it shouldn't be any different. For more information about today's episode, visit www.chinoy.tv and subscribe to our YouTube channel for full episodes of Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag One Chinoy was brought to you by Doña Maria Premium Quality Rice, our Filipino farmers' hard work and dedication in every grain. BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia Pacific. Chinoy TV would like to thank. There's just a lot of Chinese people who don't know how to express their affection. I'm doing this for you so that I can give you everything you need. Yes. But are you giving them the things that they want? We want the best to happen to our kids. That's the mission. The vision remains the same, but the methods may change.